What do blind people experience whilst on hallucinogenic drugs? I once sold mushrooms to a blind guy, had to ask what was up with that. He could see when he was born, but lost his vision before he could remember. When he tripped he could see colors swirling. His brain remembered colors and that was the only way he could see. This comment will probably get buried, but for the few people that do see it, I swear it's true. My good friend was 3 or 4 years old when he was playing near an ice rink and took a slap shot right to the dome. For whatever reason, I'm not a doctor, he was no longer able to see colors at all. Totally grayscale. Now fast forward to college. We had our own houses off campus, so we partied all the time, smoked a ton of weed, which inevitably led to experimenting with LSD. I had done it once or twice before him, but he really wanted to try it, so we invited over maybe half a dozen close friends to chill while we were all tripping. Probably about 2 hours into the trip he looks me in the eyes and says, Op, your shirt is red and your eyes are green. He could see colors again. We were all afraid it would go away when the effects of the LSD wore off, but it's been 5 years and he can still see colors. Granted he has a bit of red slash blue deficiency but still. Edit, I just talked to him, and apparently he was born grayscale. I don't know why I thought it was a hockey puck but my bad. Edit, one last one, before I get back to work. Instead of commenting on a hundred people asking, how did he know what the colors were, if he was born grayscale? I'll just say I do not know, I'm an electrician not a brain doctor. For real? I wonder if it has something to do with the connections in the brain and the way they communicate on LSD. The only thing that's strange is he has an actual physical injury, so you'd imagine that can't be reversed. I wonder if this experience will differ for those born blind and those who became blind later in life. Good point. People who were born blind never have any development in their visual cortex. Whereas people who were blinded in one way or another after the age of 6, I think, would have a fully developed visual cortex and therefore an internal library of visual images. I know this because I read an article on why it would be extremely difficult to make blind people see. Even if we invented an artificial eye, born blind folk literally don't have the brain code to process images and the struck blind folk all have cortexes that developed visual language unique to them and their vision so there's no universal base code that would work. Each patient would somehow need to get their brain to correctly read their visual input. There's an episode of the podcast Invisibilia, where they interview a blind guy that uses edge location, and then talk to some neuroscientists that were studying that practice. When they did MRIs of blind people using edge location to see things, their visual cortex is actually light up. I think they've hypothesized that edge allocating makes the brain kind of rewire itself, so that the visual cortex turns the sound into a kind of image. Brains are so cool that I want to cry about it. I heard, and I have no idea if this is true, that it's not, that blind people have enhanced or sensitive hearing, but in fact their brain has devoted more neurons and processing power to analysis and recognition of noise. So they hear what we do, but their superior analysis of the sounds gives them the edge. That's awesome about the visual cortex lighting up on edge location I will definitely check out the podcast. There's a lot more to hallucinogens than just the visual impact. Very a pretty big disconnect from whatever reality it is that you normally experience. A friend told me that. What I really wonder about is salvia, like I can't even describe what I see, and I can actually see. But I feel like not many people smoke salvia for some reason. Salvia was so weird. Tried it once with a friend. It was a strange thing to actually experience a full on hallucination as even with my one experience with acid, I had never experienced it. But my friend, although I recognized him, he also appeared like a clown. Like his features were the different parts of clown Macup and the shadows made him look like he was smiling. And somehow his weight bench became a big top, and it was like he was inviting me in. I was laughing for 15 minutes straight until it hurt. During the come down his features slowly became what they truly were. A really crazy fucking experience. Honestly that would scare the shit out of me most drugs I've tried, I find I subconsciously fight them too much, and it makes me uncomfortable I'd probably never try that. From this post, where a guy describes giving DMT to a congenitally blind friend. I had what is probably the greatest experience I've ever had today, and it wasn't even my own. 
I had a couple points of bundle weed DMT saved in the fridge for a while for this very day, not knowing when it may happen. My buddy Cotty was driven up here for Christmas by his brother yesterday, he is congenitally blind from birth. He was born with a type of disease I cannot pronounce or spell. He is a frequent cannabis smoker. When I got up this morning he had a small breakfast of fruit, and then I removed it from the fridge, and explained to him what it was, and the process, and that I had a theory. His visual cortex is completely intact, but he just doesn't have eyes, so should be able to have a DMT experience. He has never had any true psychedelics before today, as the duration of the experience has put him off from it. My theory was that, never having had the experience of vision, he would not be able to describe what it was that happened, but I would be able to tell, if it did, based on his reaction. So, I convinced Hi it was worth the 10 minutes it takes, and convinced him he would benefit from the experience and if not, hell it's only 10 minutes. I helped guide him down to my pond, I set up some lawn chairs as it was in the upper 50s today and sunny, felt really nice I loaded the bowl, gave it to Hi, and helped highlight it, he took 3 huge rips, holding each in probably 20 seconds. Now Cotty usually hold his eyes closed, the only time I've ever seen his eyes was when I first met him, he has to actively try to open them, because it's a movement he almost never does, he does not have the uskal memory for it, so it'd take effort for him. As soon as he let out the last hit his eyes opened, not just open they shot wide open, he leaned onto his knees out of the chair, how he could even move I'm not sure, but he started sobbing, he cried for about 7 minutes. As suspected he cannot say anything but one word about the experience, all he can say, with sobbing tears, is so beautiful, so beautiful, I can't, I don't, it's just so beautiful. This was a but 10 hours ago, has still asking me, if that is what seeing is. Now, this guy is asking the real questions. It's 2am and I'm baked. It's 2018 and I'm baked, can we be friends? It's easier to understand if you had taken hallucinogenics before, but a lot of times hallucinating has little to do with visuals, they are more of an added perk. You'd experience a deeper trip probably, though, since looking at things can be pretty distracting. Yeah the visuals are such a huge misconception with hallucinogenics slash psychedelics. You don't literally see crazy shit like a pink elephant in front of you. I'm no expert, but I've done a fair bit of acid and never really see shit except for when I've done acid and ma together, and still that's only seeing images within stuff. Like think about a brick wall or something with a lot of detail, you'll see shit made up of all the detail on it, like a face, or whatever else might form from it. The most visuals I usually get on acid is stuff like my vision bending or being wobbly, and color being more vibrant. But anyway yeah visuals are just a little part of it, my friend who tried acid for the first time recently explained it to be something like 10% visuals, 90% body and soul. I'm sure a blind person would trip, just as hard if they had acid or any other trip. I'm totally blind, and never tried any, but have always wanted to, so as to find out the answer to this very question. How does reddit work when you're blind? Do you listen to all the comments? Yes, blind people on any part of the blindness spectrum, the vast majority of blind people have some sight, just not enough to be abled, can and do use pretty much all tech. For the internet they use text to voice software which can go really damn fast. Like I can't remotely understand what the computer is saying, but blind folk are so used to it, they don't even have to think about it. Brad all computer systems exist, but they are very expensive, have limited functionality, and for most folks just aren't as good as text to voice combined with voice controls. It's not remotely weird for a blind person to use the computer. It's much weirder that somehow sighted people just don't know about blind people on the internet at all, and act so shocked at the idea. This isn't aimed at you, but I'm not even blind. And I get so tired of people asking the same very basic questions every time a blind person posts anything on the internet. People like Molly Burke on YouTube even have to deal with death threats, because the belief that the blind can't use tech is so strong and pervasive. Sorry if this is phrased awkwardly, I have congenital speech apraxia, the kind of thing that makes stroke suvivirs bad with words, and when it fares I struggle with written words as well. This was difficult to write. Not blind, 
but color blind. And I can tell you that I have seen colors while on hallucinogens that I had never experienced before. I heard that even people who are not color blind saw colors they weren't aware of. Pretty crazy stuff. I'm about 96% blind, so I still a little bit, but done acid slash LSD about 15, 20 times, and EMT once the DMT was kinda fucked up and not a good time. LSD was funish, but your eyes hurt like fuck afterwards. Shrooms were the best by far though. Were there any visuals? Somewhat, I mean I still see a little bit, enough for people to second guess whether or not I'm blind. But a lot were induced by normal rave things like flashing lights, lasers, or whatever. Never really had any crazy visuals like what you hear about with LSD. Personally don't really think they exist. But DMT was fucking ridiculous felt. Like I was going through a time warp like in the old school cartons with all the flashing colors, without flashing lights, lasers and being in the middle of the day. I knew a man. When I was a kid, I was told he had been born blind. When he was little. He suffered of some child sickness that caused very high fevers, and he told his parents he had felt things around him like he had never experienced before. His father was a drunkard, but nonetheless a phenomenal painter, and taught him to paint using a grid over a canvas, and using pressure to measure how much ink he put on the canvas. I saw some of the paintings he drew. Yes, you can say it was my childish imagination and primate brain assigning meaning to blots of ink, he only used black. But most of his paintings were uncannily visually striking, resembling landscapes. He also tried to paint faces of people he touched and objects. He picked up his father's alcohol abuse and added drug use to it, and his paintings under the influence reflected what he saw in his mind. That made me postulate that perhaps we have some degree of genetic memory, a bank filled with primitive imagery, and that our brain has more capabilities than what we suspect. Get in the animus. Late to the party and I can't answer this, but can add given enough LSD you will hear auditory hallucinations, if you will. I have been at the party and the music just dropped right out, to be replaced with an almost submarine ping ascending and descending, nothing else. Grantedly I was obviously high as a fucking kite at the time, it was a great night and a pretty interesting experience.